Hoyt, or welcome to Axie Expert. I'm your expert, Dan Donalski. Just got off a fox hunt. That's not true. That's not, I've never gone on a fox hunt. Today on Ask the Expert with me, Dan Donalski, we're gonna answer a heat and cooling question, one of the most common questions on the internet. Uh, this one is, how do I select the right HVAC system? Oh, that's a good question. How do you select the right HVAC system? Uh, first off is the size, okay? Uh, air conditioners and heat pumps and furnaces and geothermal heat pumps and boilers are not one size fits all, right? You can't go get a three ton air conditioner and assume it is gonna be perfect for your whole house unless you need a three ton air conditioner. The best way to do that is to have somebody do a manual J heat load calculation on your house, or it's probably already been done uh, when the house was built. Uh, you could, you know, so good rule of thumb is what do you have now, right? If your house, if you get good air comfort from your three ton air conditioner, that's probably what you need. You probably need another three ton air conditioner. So yeah, make sure you get to, you know what size you need. Next is economics. I mean, you're not made of money. I'm not made of money. You know, you got a budget and you got, uh, you know, annual income. You can't just go out and buy the new who's it what's it and put it in just, just willy nilly. So try to fit something that's gonna fit your budget. And uh, that might not necessarily be the cheapest. A 16 seer air conditioner is more expensive than a 14 seer, but the 16 seer is gonna be more efficient over the long term. You're gonna spend less money on energy. Also, you might be able to get some energy efficiency incentives from the federal government, from your state, from your, your local utility company. So check into that. Now, I mean, if you can't get any incentives or investment stuff for rebates or whatever, then, you know, I, I, go for the cheaper system. But a lot of, there's a lot of rebates and stuff out there that can make a more efficient system the same price as a cheaper one a less efficient, cheaper one. So check into that. Uh, and finally, uh, you know, keep in mind the whole reason you're getting a heat and air system is for comfort. So make sure that your new system is gonna deliver on comfort. And that can vary depending on where you live. If you live in Arizona, in uh, godless, waterless, colorless Arizona, my God have mercy on all of you. Humidity is probably not a big deal, right? You're not probably worried about having too humid a house. You might actually need a little humidity. So you might think about an HVAC system and a whole house humidifier. If you live in uh, Florida, you probably are worried about humidity and you're worried about salt corrosion. So you might want to look at, you know, a unit that has some sort of protective uh, anti-corrosion resistance on the coil. The right system is always a geothermal heat pump. I'm kidding, it's not. Uh, if, you can, if you can afford a geothermal heat pump, you should get a geothermal heat pump because long-term, that's the most cost-effective. So if you know you're gonna build a house or you're buying a new house and you're gonna live there for the next 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, or until you're dead, get a geothermal heat pump. It, you'll save a, a fortune uh, in the future. Okay, bye. Oh, hey. Is that answer useful for you on the Ask the Expert series? Just like it and subscribe it and rub the bell. Okay, bye.